but we are kicking things off with a couple of animals this morning, but these aren't your typical house pets. Jennifer from Casey Exotics RS is here. Who did you bring along? Uh, this is Sequoia. She is one of our African serval kittens. She's actually just about two months old and oh. she's weaning, but she still is taking a bottle and it's a little bit of her breakfast time. So <laughs> I was gonna say, if you don't mind if she time. eats while she's here. So <laughs> tell us about serval kittens. What makes them unique? Um, well, servals are, they're unique in a lot of ways. They're actually cousins of the cheetah. And if you notice, I'll show her coat a little bit more here after she finishes She's her like, bottle. She's like, oh, no, you are. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they have the stripes like a king cheetah actually down their back. And she's still very young, so you'll see those stripes. And then oh, wow. um, let's check you out. I was like, we'll turn her around there. As she gets longer and more Whoa. elongated, they turn more into spots there. And let's sets. talk about their ears because I've seen pictures of them as adults and they get massive. Th they do. They actually, like, she's got big ears now. She won't grow into them like a puppy would with their paws. Mm -hmm. They will stay that big. If we as adults had ears the size in relation, it'd be like having two big dinner plates on the sides oh. of our head. <laughs> so we wouldn't be as cute as she is with them. But she has these eye spots on the back of her ears, yeah. the white spots. So most of the times, you know, we have to do a little burp there. <laughs> um, they're for predators in the wild to deter them. So it looks like she's got eyes in the back of her head. Ooh. So their um, coats are always like this. Yes, they do get, um, there is some melanistic servals, which would be either in black in color. Um, and they're found like higher mountain ranges. And there aren't any of those in captivity, actually. Ah, oh, oh. she's so playful. Hi. Now, can you have a serval cat as a pet? Servals um, are, they would be a high energy pet. And, <laughs> and you know, you're going to have to, they take a lot of time and commitment. And you're going to have to check first. First thing with one of them would be the state you live in as far as if it's legal. Then you've got to uh. check your city ordinances and county. And what so, do servals eat? Servals, they eat in the wild. They're going to eat amphibians. People. No, no <laughs> not at all. Kidding. She's not going to get that big. <laughs> <laughs> so they would eat amphibians. They also eat birds. Servals can jump 10 to 12 feet in the air as an adult. What? And that's just a straight jump, like a vertical all the way up. <gasps> so they catch birds. Oh my goodness. They have really long legs. Can you show that you're getting those legs? She is <gasps> so cute. And, and you guys brought somebody else. So right now we're going to head over to the couch to get a look at a hedgehog. And this is Heidi the Hedgehog Faith. She's so small. <laughs> so is this a full grown hedgehog? This is a full grown hedgehog. So tell us a little bit about the hedgehog. Why do they have those quills? Um, they're actually not quills, they're spines, oh. which are hardened hairs. Um, they have about 5,000 of them. Okay. Um, so is she hard to hold? Not like really. I see you have the blanket, but does it hurt when you have her in your hands? I mean, not really. You have to hold the quills down, um, the spines down a little bit, but. And hedgehogs, they curl up, right? Yes. So what is the purpose of that curling up into um, a ball? The curling up uh, protects their soft stomachs from predators. Mm. So it's a defense mechanism. And can you have hedgehogs as a pet? We know we can yes. have the serval now yes. in certain places. Yes. What else makes these, um, these guys unique? Their little teeth are so funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, they actually have, um, like, Compared to a porcupine, they have more of a triangular face, where porcupines have a circular face. Okay. So, and they have really long legs. They do have really it's long legs, be. which you can never see because they're always yeah. in that little ball. Yeah. You brought up the porcupine. Are they related yeah. to the porcupine? What's What are some um, of the differences? Uh, well, a porcupine has quills, and they can actually shoot, I mean, not shoot their quills, uh, release their quills. Yeah. So they'll get stuck in a predator, mm -hmm. so that's the porcupine's defense mechanism. Heidi looks a little scared. <laughs> She's camera shy. She's so cute. All right, Faye, thank you so much. Two really cool animals.